All right, so, can't believe I'm doing this again. So, you saw the first episode. Right. You decided to give it a chance, and well, we'll see where we go from here. Now it's my turn to review it, but I just watched your review, and it's good. It's a good review, but I think I kind of don't know if you like it or not. Well, I think that this is about you, and I've already had my time in the spotlight, so let's listen to your opinion. So, the rumor always is that if you see the first episode, you'll instantly be hooked. Now, this might not always be true, but going off personal experiences, it's true. It happens. Chris, you saw the first episode. Saw the first episode. What'd you think? First episode had its ups and downs for me. There is a uh, had its moments where I thought the show is a lot different from what I expected it to be. Isn't that the same for us all? <laughs> yeah. The first episode I was kind of bored through through it kind of until like the ending part they threw a little like I guess a little like twist ending. T the, the twist ending. Cliffhanger. Um, and for the most part, most of the characters uh, is just kind of annoyed. But that was avoided with the main character because I felt like me and her were in the same spot together. As she thought those characters were annoying, or she just wanted to get on her way. That's how I felt. And even for me. Like, I was also annoyed of the characters at first. So, it's not... I don't know if it's uncommon, but I know for me, someone who did end up liking the show was annoyed by the characters. So, after that, you moved on to Sonic Rainboom. Yes. Watching Sonic Rainboom, what I felt from this episode, and which kind of gave me an idea of how the rest of the season or the show would be, was that the episode was kind of predictable. And it was unpleasant to me, thinking, as I was watching it, just thinking, oh, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and it did happen, and just, I wanted it to be different from what I was thinking it was going to be. Mm. But, but, I there like... There's always a but. Yeah, there is a but, because the conflict of the episode is between the friends and, and their own pony universe, it... It shows how friendships are just uh, how things can trouble someone and how friends support each other and friends competing for the spotlight, kind of. Yeah, in a way, I guess. It, so She got carried away. Yeah, so I did like how the friends came to support Rainbow Dash. Uh, and the show just has a good feel and taste for friendship and that's what I've gotten out from just watching that episode. Any funny moments that you can think of in the episodes? I know Sonic Rainbow has a particular funny moment that's famous amongst the fans. You didn't find any funny moments? Any funny moments that stood out? No. Yeah, so the white one... You mean... R r yes, rarity. That one. I was, I, could, I was gonna say that. Well, anyways, that one. I guess it. I guess it was funny that she took her cockiness to a next level, and uh, her wings ended up. She didn't listen to her other friends, and she just went, and her wings just gave out on her, and they she evaporated. Fell. Yeah, they evaporated. But. It was... I already knew it was going to happen. Like, I knew she was going to fall. It's funny, because, like, for me, I knew it was going to happen, too. Like, I, like I've like i said before, the show's super predictable. But the way it happened, the way they just disappeared, I thought was funny. I don't know. Just the pacing. So, um, after that, you saw Lesson Zero. Which, that was one I personally recommended from the list of episodes you received. Because... That one I felt was one of the more funnier ones, and what'd you think? Lesson Zero was very...
different from what I've seen. And by that, I mean I like I like shows that take um, weird aspects and perspectives and different twists. Uh, just crazy different, visuals. Just yeah, crazy visuals and just crazy like funny weird things that they do with cartoons. And this episode definitely had that. So now I have this sense that like the characters in the show can be weird in its own way. So that got me kind of interested, and I like that. I definitely like the moral of that episode. I remember correctly, it was uh, it was friends. Uh, they they pretty much ended up apologizing for not taking her f taking um the situation seriously. The situation seriously. What, what Feelings you? into account. Yeah, and no matter how small the situation is like whoever is going through it it's a big deal for them so what about things that you didn't like about the episode well for for the episodes that I have been watching are we doing this like as a joke or do you want me to really tell you no you really tell me <coughs> it's sparkle okay I still can't say the names without feeling weird I don't know I don't know if I'm getting to that that's like literally me talking to you so I don't know what's real or not anymore so, so what I didn't like about the the episode was, I guess, for a majority of the episodes I've been watching, it travels through Twilight Sparkle, and yeah, it did sound weird saying it. <laughs> yeah, and people, the first time and, I ever said that. <laughs> yeah, and people are like, "Oh, you're not saying the name." It's like it's not easy, okay? That was weird. You said it wrong. Sound like candy names. Twilight Sparkle. I thought it was Midnight Sparkle. You're telling the professional here. I'm it, not the professional here. Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> it is Twilight Sparkle? Should be. It is. I don't know. That came out naturally. Like, I really couldn't say yes. I really did say should be. <sighs> oh. So. Okay. So anyways. The character that I've seen through most of the shows is Twilight Sparkle and through that I felt like she was the most relatable character uh, from all of them. So generally when I watch shows I like connecting the characters and she was definitely the one I connected with the most. But in this particular episode I felt like I saw a new side of her that was very... Um, would you even call it Control Freak or... What would you say? What would you call that? Yeah, control free. Control free? And Not really of others, but like of your surroundings. Right, so... Over obsessive. So just... Organization. Yeah. So just to... Just to clarify, I didn't not watch the show chronologically in order from episode to episode. I, just, I jumped, jumped episodes. Yeah. So just jumping to this one, seeing her go crazy, and seeing her for what she went crazy for as far as the situation, didn't sit right with me. Yeah, like, I think you mentioned earlier today, like, that, uh, you like weird, but, like, if you want weird, you'll go for, like, Adventure Time. Right. Yeah, I like that show. Yeah. I like weird, I like Flapjack, I like Adventure Time. Even Spongebob has some weird stuff. <laughs> but... I never did like Spongebob. But, um, yeah, the, and I like their weird because it, it's kind of more random and it's kind of just because and it's part of the punchline or the joke. But this one was just involved with the actual situation. Yeah. So it, it kind of threw me off and as far as that goes, it threw me off of, uh... Took you out of the experience. Of, yeah, and Twilight Sparkle. S Twilight Sparkle? How do you say it? I don't know how to say it. Is, how do you say it? Twilight? Um, you said it. You said it fine. Twilight Sparkle? Yes. Okay, anyways. I was just making sure. Anyways, Twilight Sparkle. Uh, just kind of lost my... The little connection that I built with that character. Look, I can say the names if I wanted to. I could. I really could. If I will. 
I have a little, but we have a review to get through, so we'll move on right now. You say you like music, right, Chris? I love music. So, Winter Rap wasn't part of the list, so I told him to just watch the song, or listen to the song. I mean, like, I recommend it to you, knowing you would like it. Well, I really like musicals, and I like music, and I like, I love songs, and I love, I usually love the music you tend to show me. But when you text me to listen to the song, actually, I didn't even get halfway through it, and I couldn't really, I didn't want to listen to it anymore. Hmm. No. I was, a, I just, I didn't like it. Maybe, well, I don't that's, know. Uh, that's an interesting opinion, because, like, I know a lot of fans say that, uh, that, um, that song is one of their favorites. In fact, some of them would even have it on their music players. I'm pretty sure some fans have it on their music players. Do you have it on your music player? I actually do. You like the color? Yeah, I love, uh, art, artwork, art in the shows. So this, this show definitely has the artwork, uh, different style, uh, more cartoonier style than the cartoons. Clean. Yeah, very clean cut. And there's always something going on, and the animation's really well put. Just the way everything moves. Yeah, the way everything moves is kind of like, you can't get bored at just watching it, really. But even though you can't get bored with it visually, I was getting bored with it, through, like, sometimes through the... Throughout the episode, I would get kind of bored with the situation, or whatever was going on, or... Really? Uh... Hmm. Okay, Chris, so here's the million dollar question. Will you continue watching the show? You named off a lot of good points, and you named off a lot of negative points, which, you know, happens to us all. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of many negative points myself, but that's beyond the point. Will you continue watching the show? Well, due to the circumstances and due to timing and and just uh, you know, it's it's accessible because it's on Netflix and uh, mm. you know, they're they're the morals of the show are pretty good and they have it's not a bad show. It's it's actually it's well put together, well written. I think I'll have to say. Okay, okay, no, we're, we're not doing that again. We're gonna give you a straight-up answer. We're done with that gag. Will you watch it? My final and truthful answer is no. <coughs> That's an understandable answer. And here's why. Just because... I guess the show didn't really keep me interested. And the episodes I watched, I didn't really... feel like I wanted to watch more. And I, as I was watching the list of episodes I was watching, it felt more like a duty than just watching it for the enjoyment. And I don't know, it just, it, it, it and it doesn't matter that they're ponies or it's appealing to, at least visually, to girls. Because it could have been anything. They, they can honestly have an episode where they do a spell and they turn into snails disgustingly. Yeah, can, and, you, imagine and you, just, were, can you imagine if they were people? That would be so weird. That was stupid. It wasn't stupid. I don't really... I'm not interested in any of the characters. And shows that I like, I like clinging on to the characters. So this one, I, I couldn't... I, I didn't like them, basically, when it gets down to it. Now, I know we only mentioned three episodes. And originally, you received six episodes. And technically... People could say that you can't really judge it because you didn't give that many episodes a chance. Maybe there's a lot more episodes you should have watched. But I'm the kind of person who believes that if the first episode doesn't grab your attention, I can't really blame you after that. Some people said, yeah, and you took on the mission willingly. Like, you chose, you wanted to watch more episodes. You chose to get a different perspective. And we agreed that if you didn't want to continue, like, you should stop when it stopped feeling natural. Like, when you really just wanted to stop to get, you know, an honest opinion. So, you actually went farther than I would have expected out of, you know, anybody giving something a chance. You know, if you didn't really like the first episode, which you told me didn't really do much for you, I didn't really blame you and we could have just stopped there. 
But good job, you actually gave it a little more fighting chance. Maybe not what every fan would expect, but what can you say? So, what about you? I mean, I think I gave it a fair review. I know you did too, but I feel like you keep beating around the bush. Do you like it or what? Well, I, I, gave, my, I gave my answer. I, I did, I, <laughs> what? Did you what? What did you, did you like it or not? Yes, yes, I'll admit it, finally, up in front of everyone, I did. Good one? <sighs> yeah. Is it I over? I think I'll be okay. Is it over? Finally over. Hey. So now what? The fight's finished. There's nothing left to do. No. There's still something I have to do. See what the future brings. As a brony. There won't be any Pinocchio I'm a real boy ending for me. You got lucky with the show, but in a way, I guess I got lucky too. Sounds good. Do you think it'll be a good future? Only time will tell. Besides... There's one thing we both can agree on. What's that? You know that show Dragon Tales? Sucks. It sucks. <laughs>